back to At Home Crypto. I'm Alan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect all of your GPUs with the riser and the power on top. Okay, so I did a separate video on the GPU uh, risers here, the PCIe risers. And you can find these in the link, come in 10 packs. Same thing, you just plug that in. These pieces come with it. This is your SATA cable or SATA, however you want to say it. The USB goes into that end. There. And this is your PCIe 1 there that is going to go into your motherboard in this area. Remember, it's got five. One, two, three, four, five of these that look like that. And this longer one will still work too in the same manner. You're not going to have any plugged in here. You're going to use these for all six of those like that. Okay. And remember I showed you the SATA. So I'll show you the SATA. That, there's a few of them that comes with the, uh, the Corsair that's in the links. I did have a SATA, yes. So this is our SATA cable. Okay. Remember again, it's got the L like there, so it kind of locks in place. Let me show you the GPU here. The opposite side of that that we plugged in there, and these come with it. Notice the L, so there's only one way that you can plug this in. There. Okay, so now there's a unique thing for the uh, power to the GPU that I want to show everybody. What's awesome is that Corsair is nice enough to provide um, both 6 and 8 pin for your GPUs or your PCIe. Uh, cards, whatever you might be using. Okay. So, what they do, you can do the six if that's all you needed, or eight. There. See, it's all in the same cable. There. And of course, for these GPUs, most of your newer ones, you need all eight. Okay. So, the trick take your first, there, plug this in first with two pins. Plug that in first on that farthest part. There, slides in. Okay. Good. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Give a little bit of pressure. There. You heard it click. This, the six pins, we're going to slide in. Okay, notice, and you'll, there. They're coming together. There, notice it's sliding right between those two, so that's why you have to have this first. Here. You should hear it click when you know you've got it in good. There, just a little bit, but I think that needs to be pushed in a little bit more. There. So that's in there good. There. See? Doesn't hurt to give it enough nudge. If you have it plugged in wrong, unfortunately these won't start. But notice how it's all flat and even there now. It'd be tough to tell that it's too different if you just were casually looking. Okay, so that's how you connect that. The other end, of course, goes to your uh, Corsair power supply that is in the links. Okay, notice it goes, make sure you follow where it says PCIe on your Corsair, it'll be the same thing. Uh, try to follow, I recommend it zero or one through six. Plug in each card relative to that so that you really know. Easy for cable management and troubleshooting if you need to. All right, so let's pick this up. I wanted to show you something else. I did another video about this for the Gaming Plus. Pretty much everything's the same, but it's a little thicker. See all the, this, that's not in the other ones. But what makes it different, the Plus has two eight pin. There, PCIe slots, the same riser, you know, everything else is pretty much the same. So it's the, you're going to plug in two. With that Corsair, it actually comes with, look, it comes with a cable that does, allows you to both connect, so you don't have to waste using two cables. There's a really good benefit and a nice feature of the Corsair. And again, that's in your links if you want to get the same one, which I really recommend. I've been very happy with it. Same thing, we're going to plug in our Two pin first. There. These are well made, so they don't want to bend too much, but you can. There, I'm going to pull this 
like that. Okay, so that's in there good. Okay, just like we did with the other one. Let's, oh, yep. There, I said they're really tight. They're wanting to, there, let's keep you in. These were like heavy duty cables, so it's good though. Okay, so we gotta drink. Let's try doing them both at the same time then, if this is not one to play as nice. Actually, I guess earlier I've done it on this one first. So I guess another way you could do it. Okay, let's try putting this down here. And you may have some little buggers also, but I promise it'll go in. There, I did this with my other one. We have two like this. Right, make sure you keep everything stable. Okay. There. Right, two pin goes in. See, it's playing, playing. Let's try doing them both at the same time since it's wanting to catch so much there. See, I've brought them together like that. Let's try doing all of it together. All right. Come on. Slid that in instead of pushing it all the way in. Okay. Again, I need to come up and give some pressure. Okay. Let's pull it like this. Move that. There. The number, this other pin is not, there we go. Not want to play too nice there. So now we got them both in. I'm gonna push both. There, I'm glad I'm doing a video so you can see the struggles you might have, but how to actually do it together. There. Remember we're gonna hear our, let's bring it over like this. We should hear our click. We've not heard the click yet. Okay, very good. Notice they're flat all the way across again. You wouldn't really be able to tell these are two different connections if you were just casually looking. So that's how you connect it. And I hope you don't have quite the struggles we had, but we got it. Uh, it's all a learning lesson and a lot of fun. So soon we'll be really mining together with this. And uh, so thank you again for watching At Home Crypto. I'm Alan.